there, welcome to Gemini Toys. Here we are once again with another comparison video, the first one of this year, and I'm really excited about this one, is Lord Vader is one of my ultimate favorite characters. So looking at these two figures side by side, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But first, I'd like to say I've just reached a thousand subscribers and I'm so grateful to you guys for subscribing to my channel. And I'm gonna plan doing a giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that. So, here we have on the left side, A New Hope, Darth Vader. I've had this figure pretty much since I started collecting. Really like them, and recently I picked up this guy, which is 40th Anniversary Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader. So we're gonna do a little competition here and see which one of these figures I personally like best. Some of you guys may differ in opinion, Keep in mind, this is two Vaders from two different Star Wars films, and I know a lot of you guys are big fans of the Rogue One version. I have not had that figure, so keep that in mind when I'm doing this comparison. However, I do know that is a very good figure as well. So before we get started, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any future content like this. So first up, we're gonna do a comparison of the boxes. On the left side of your screen, we have contender number one, A New Hope Darth Vader, and on the right, we have contender number two, which is Empire Strikes Back 40th Anniversary version. Now taking a closer look at the New Hope version, it's a shoebox style, box that is, it's seen better days. As you can see there, I've had the figure for four or five years now, pretty much since I started collecting and then newly fresh box on the right with the slip on cover. The backs, this is uh, what they look like. Not a whole lot to see, but credit words to um, the people who made this figure. Now opening, slipping off the cover on the New Hope version, we do have this insert with a nice image of Darth Vader with a couple stormtroopers and the Death Star. And we have the Kenner kind of retro style box. And I do really like that touch is I'm a sucker for nostalgia. And you can see the figure inside. Also has a magnetized cover to further see the contents as well as a bunch of pictures all over the box. So for that reason, I'm going to give one point to ESP Darth Vader. Further moving on, this is what the figures would look like in their respective boxes. With most hot toy figures, it's a very similar situation other than DX releases, of course, but nonetheless, I wanted to showcase it. Now on to the accessory section. We have each figure in each of their corners and we'll get to them soon. But first, let's take a look at each one of their accessories, starting with the extra hands. As you can see, an assortment of hands, as well as uh, a light up feature for the lightsaber, lightsaber hilt, and uh, one blade, as well as uh, this, you would press the W on it, and it's a remote to have a voice feature. Most people don't really care about it. And he comes with this droid, as you can see. Fairly nice droid, and it was kind of nice to see recently on The Mandalorian. And now here, we have a much better full glove, unlike the A&H version. It's a leather piece, velcroed on. It's pretty terrible. This is what it should have been all along. We have the extra arm, just like the New Hope version, with the light-up feature for the blade, as well as this loose hilt with two blades, one with the lightsaber in motion effect. Taking a closer look at the lightsaber hilts, there is some noticeable differences in design as well as paint application. As you can see, got some gold detail as well as the bottoms. I personally prefer the ESB version on the right, however, the design may differ as well on their respective movies. I didn't look into it that deep, but if that's the case, let me know in the comment section below. So in this case, I do prefer the quality of the ESB version. However, because the 
A and H version. Does come with more accessories, comes with the droid. It does come with that gimmick nobody, including me, cares about of the voice feature, which is such a pain to install the batteries and all that. But because he does come with more, I'm gonna give one point to the ANH version. Moving on to the bases, we do have this base that came with a lot of Star Wars figures. You could kind of put them together and you could remove the metal plate with a name, which is kind of cool, as well as that could be um, the stand could be put in different spots. But it's a no-brainer here. This is a diorama type of base with the ESP version with a light-up feature. So needless to say, a point goes to the ESP version. As a side note, I did take off the boots on both figures as well as the shin guards that they Velcro on. And uh, you can see some design differences. Not a whole lot of differences except for the shininess of the ESP version shin guards. But I did inspect inside and they both have the same peg. And I was wondering why on the New Hope version you can pivot side to side so well and so easily. It's just looser. So needless to say, both have the same functionality and that is very good news. It's just the pegs need to be loosened a little bit. I personally did and it seemed to work pretty good. Taking a look at the capes, the older New Hope version with a pleather collar. Mine seems to hold up pretty good. Similar situation with the ESP version with a silver paint app on the chain. And I do like how the ESP version looks better as well as the stitching, but I must give this one to the New Hope version due to the fact that it does drape better. It just feels more heavy and looks much more natural. Taking a look at the bodies as well as the suits next, I would imagine the bodies on both of these figures are very, very similar. They do feel pretty much the same. Minus the voice feature, of course, you have to install batteries on this one. I did dismantle this figure a while back, but I didn't do it for this video. But the tunic, take a look at that wiring on the New Hope version versus no wiring here. This is definitely a step back. However, the shiny shin guards, the cod piece, the belt with the bigger boxes and the center piece, as well as the gloves, of course, needless to mention, do look that much better on this figure. And I do like that wrinkled design of the tunic connecting to the top of the armor. This one I did take the tunic off the shoulders so you could kind of see the armor on the top because there are differences and I did take a look at their respective movies and Hot Toys definitely did a good job showing the differences in the, uh, I guess you could say, improved armor of the Empire Strikes Back version here. However, I must mention, going on the back here, you're going to see here, when you take a look at the armor on the top, there is a gap on the ESB version. It doesn't connect, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if that's uh, Hot Toys cheaping out on plastic or it's just a design difference in the actual movie. Another thing to mention is the boxes on both of these figures belt will light up, but the centerpiece only of the ESB version does have a light up function, just like in the movie. So despite the ESB version not having a wire in the tunic, I must say it does look quite a bit better. I do prefer it and I'm going to give it to the ESB version in terms of best suit. Moving on what's to me the most exciting section of this video which is helmet sculpts and likeness. We're going to be taking a look at the New Hope ANH version first. It does have some very nice weathering detail. You can see one of the tusks is uh, a little bit more worn down just like in the movie. Um, 
the dome just has more of a matte finish and it's lower closer to the eyes it's kind of giving him a more angry look panning towards the ESP version we do see a much more shiny dome as well as a much more metallic finish and I really like it I think this is more of an iconic look for Darth Vader because to me, Empire and Return of the Jedi are my favorite Star Wars movies. Now, now, that's not to say the New Hope version is not iconic. Of course, I like it as well, and I do like the movie. But I just think the Empire does have that much stronger of a presence. Now, here with a picture, I wanted to show you that, in fact, the New Hope version, Hot Toys nailed it. But... Hot Toys also, I believe, nailed the Empire version, as you can see in this picture. A lot of people are saying that the nose, the triangular vent, I want to call it, is too long. And I felt the same way too at first, but upon looking at some stills, I think it's not perfect, but it's really, really good. And then, of course, you do get that extra detail, removing the dome, you can see the metallic and gold finish paint applications as well as on the back we have the back of the head of Anakin with a huge scar so to me this is a definite point to the ESB version as an experiment I decided to put the New Hope version head on the Empire suit to see what it looks like it doesn't look bad the head is just resting on there as the peg you can see is uh, left on the body. However, a full swap of the heads, I think it's totally possible, but uh, do it at your own risk. As a final side note, I did want to show you these two sideshow gloves. Above, we got the Hot Toys gloves, so you guys can see, compare them. I did enjoy these sideshow gloves with my New Hope figure, especially due to the fact that the rubber is soft and you can insert the lightsaber hilt easy, but I do of course prefer the detail and shininess of the Hot Toys version. Okay, so I think we do have a winner here in accordance to my preference, which is the Empire ESB version most recently released by Hot Toys. Now that by all means doesn't mean this isn't a great piece. I've treasured this figure for about five years now and I still really like how he looks. But it is a New Hope figure and I do prefer the look Darth Vader had in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi as this is extremely similar I personally can't wait to pair up this guy with my Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker as I think they will look awesome together in the display. But if you're really debating which figure to get between these two, I think you would be happy with either one. Both are awesome figures. It's going to come down to, I think, source material. Which is your favorite movie? Which is your favorite look for Darth Vader. The New Hope version is an older figure so maybe you can save some money by getting that one. It's all gonna come down to your personal preference and I hope this video helped you guys out decide which one of these two to get. If you have any questions or I haven't covered anything that you would like to know about these two figures in the comment section please let me know. In the meantime, I pose these two guys up, as you can see, to conclude this video. Really like them both. I had a lot of fun making this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So with that said, subscribe, like, and comment. Enjoy the path of collecting, and I will catch you guys next time.